Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, Gemini, I feel like you could be asking yourself uh, at this time, what do I want? Uh, where am I going? Should I do this? Or, you know, should I choose something else? Um, you could be looking at how you got where you are so you will know uh, what to choose from this point. I kind of feel like you will be at a crossroads. I feel like you will receive uh, an offer that you may hesitate on. Okay, <clears throat> you will have to make a choice here. Um, and so um, this is taking a, a deeper look with the magnifying glass, which was your first card out, uh, at a situation. There may be something here you're not quite seeing, uh, you would need to be careful uh, of, and I feel it is the reason you're not seeing it clearly is because of ghosts of the past. I feel this is why. Because you have this, this new, uh, beginning this this rebirth or the birth of something and it it's like it's being blocked uh by ghosts of the past that's what i feel it is because of the hound because you have the hound on this in reverse and this is saying that past experiences have made you shy of commitment you know and you're finding it hard to let yourself trust again because of how you've been hurt in the past. And so <clears throat> the appearance of this card is to tell you that not all connections are made with the intention to trap you. It encourages you to embrace healing and let yourself trust that perhaps this could lead to something good, something positive. So um, I feel like I feel like somebody makes you an offer um, and I feel like you hesitate and I feel like the reason for that is ghosts of the past because from and, and what I can see is this offer you really really want it this could be somebody new or it could be somebody from your past if it is somebody from your past they may have gotten very angry at you and banned you from their kingdom okay like this 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 emperor would have done here okay that's what he did all right he got very angry and he banned his love the love of his life from his kingdom and now he wants her back so if this is if this is a past person uh then this is most likely what he did or she did right um so i feel like you really want this it's like this person uh, at one time you thought they were the one, then this happened, well not this, but the, the breakup happened, and now you think that, well, maybe they are the one again. Uh, I feel like you are um, <clears throat> really looking at the opportunity. He's really looking at it and is considering maybe talking about it, discussing it, um, but he's obsessing over the tower. So he's, a, he's very, very focused on what didn't work. Okay. And, and that's what frightens him, that it didn't work before, that there was a tower moment before whether it was with this person or with another and even if it was with another it is still a ghost of the past of yours and it is haunting you when it comes to making this decision i see that you really want to go there you feel like you're missing information this is once again the tower um, you will always feel like you're missing information when you're in this energy of the five of swords and the tower okay <clears throat> if you're constantly obsessing over what went wrong you're gonna always uh, be stuck here one minute I'm losing my voice I'll be right back get a drink sorry about that and so um, there you are and I feel like this is about mm, getting the courage 
you know you could be feeling a little on edge here uh, there's a chance for a reconciliation here uh, or to move into this healing energy okay um, there's a chance here to do this. Change is needed. You must uh, face your ghosts of the past. But you see, this person, you or them, whoever this is, uh, feels like they're going to get their heart broken, right? Um, this is, uh, it's imagining really the worst is what it is. It's somebody with a victim's mindset. So, um, I have a queen and I have a king and they are both in the upright uh, indicating that they I, I still think that these this couple loves each other okay they're both in the upright telling me that um, that uh, the feelings uh, for each other I feel like it's it's a mutual I feel like they love each other he could have done something wrong he could have uh, because um, <clears throat> he is very secretive he could have held something back um, and she found out about it. Uh, he could have perhaps deceived her. He could have lost control of his emotions. Again, uh, him and the emperor he could have lost control of his emotions and said or did things he didn't really mean. <clears throat> um but he wants another chance with her and she's uh, kind of holding back because uh, well she's afraid that you know he might do it again and there could be a consequence for that action you know and so and so this is what's <clears throat> what she's worried about so it's not that she doesn't love him it's that uh, it's that she's afraid it's going to happen again. You know, he wants this new beginning as well. She wants this new beginning. So I think that she's seeking this kind of a reassurance that it won't happen again. <clears throat> and that's very difficult to do. I feel like, you know, she's just going to have to, if she loves him, she'll have to trust uh, trust him and uh, step into the moment, okay? Um, because here she is caught up in the hangman energy, very worried, you see, that, oh, he's going to lose his temper again, and oh, I'll be end up back here again. So I'm not sure I can rely on what he's offering me. So that information that this person is, is missing, whether this be you or them, is the fact, is that reassurance that it's not going to happen again. <laughs> that's, that's what they're missing. That's what they need, and, and they can't have that. <laughs> You know, all they can do is give, the, this person can promise them it's not going to happen again. But th I, I feel like, uh, I feel like that promise is, they're not sure they can rely on it, you know. And I'm sure that they are going to promise they're not going to do it again. So, if you love them, if this is you and you love them, you're going to just have to take that leap of faith and step into the unknown. See, there's, there, well, this says it all, you know, uh, looking at the options for the future, they're all very confusing. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, the, uh, this one looks very appealing, but, you know, I have been burned before. Um, so, uh, I, I see that, I feel, frankly, uh, that this person is going to follow their heart because I see that you are <laughs> making a decision for the future together. Okay? So, uh, so yeah, you know, you, you're just going to have to take that leap of faith on love. On this love that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation um, it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you bye for now